Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 29th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun, as we've had quite a few large events, including the large X-class solar flare right there, and as well, big plasma prominence that was spinning around the surface of the sun in the northeast region. But the big story is a very large sunspot region turning into view produced the X1 solar flare. 304 angstroms, amazing images here. There was a lot of plasma associated with that, created a large coronal mass ejection. And thank God this was not in an earth-facing direction. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, not much activity. Most of the activity has been at the coronal hole, from the coronal hole, plasma filament there, and as well, the X-class solar flare. X1, to be exact, X1.1. We did and are still experiencing the solar, accelerated solar winds from the coronal hole wind stream. There's another coronal hole region developing equatorial region just in front of this most recent sunspot region turning into view having a look here 171 angstroms at that sporadic sunspot region releasing the x-class solar flare amazing images here brought to you by solar dynamics observatory mixed with daily events worldwide and thank you so much for pressing play and being a part of this channel Another way to see our sun today. This is the best and safest way to see our sun daily. Please don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends and family these amazing images of our sun today. So grateful to have you aboard and a part of this community. Now let's have a look at the sunspot regions that are turning into view. Big black hole on the sun, equatorial region and as well as some quickly forming sunspot regions, Earth facing. This is what our sun looks like during solar cycle 25, which right now our sun is boasting seven sunspot regions. 4046 being the big player who released the X-class solar flare, but we're watching 4043 quickly forming sunspot region. Current space weather conditions, we are under R2, Moderate radio blackout impacts expected, and that is due to the most recent M-class solar flare that was being detected. Solar winds are coming in at 520 kilometers per second, still above average. Solar X-ray flux showing the X-class solar flare and most recent activity hopping up into the minor M range. Solar proton flux slightly elevated with the most recent event, geomagnetic activity coming down as we finish off with that coronal hole wind stream. Having a look now at the Space Weather Prediction Center showing their space weather spiral. Big CME taking off from our sun, outgoing. Again, we are lucky that this was not Earth-facing. This is a very large coronal mass ejection. There would have been a lot of plasma associated. We would have seen quite an aurora event across our world and we are, our planet would have been shaken to the core by earthquakes as space weather and earthquakes are becoming more and more a correlation x-class solar flare going off the same day as a 7.7 .7 earthquake myanmar again thoughts and prayers for everybody affected there having a look now at our sun Lasco 3 coronagraph, you can see a sun diving comet just before the X-class solar flare. Amazing images here brought to you by Daily Events Worldwide. Tonight's Aurora View line and versus tomorrow's more prevalent tonight and more prevalent across Canada. Now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours. Very deep earthquake, 636 kilometer de depth, Lavuka, Fiji. And as well, a 527 kilometer depth, 543 kilometer depth. So the earthquake event is still underway as our planet has been under a lot of pressure. Going a whole wind stream, solar radiation now affects 5.2 earthquake there. Marianas Trench, Burma, Myanmar, 
boasting another aftershock 5.1 earthquake reported there today the casualties are piling up Th again thoughts and prayers going out to everybody this was a day after not even it was hours after my earthquake warning video from a couple days ago and then boom 7.7 .7. myanmar thoughts and prayers to everybody affected Looking across the United States, largest being a 3.8 there. Garrington, Nevada, as well a notable earthquake. Wells, Texas, 3.5. And another notable earthquake here. Blowing Point Village, Anguilla, 4.4. Caribbean Plate Subduction Zone. Heads up, still an area way too quiet. And then notable earthquakes here. Nazca Plate and as well Argentina, 4.3. But these are earthquakes off the coast of Chile. A little bit peculiar. Nazca Plate smashing into the South American. Way too quiet across the African Plate now. Big eruption at Etna recently. 4.9 earthquake there. South Indian Ridge. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes, largest being the 7.7 .7 earthquake, Burma. And right afterwards, there was a 6.6 .6 earthquake, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. So our planet is a rockin'. This is a look at the last seven days. And man, our planet is going through a lot of changes right now. And that's what it does, going through solar cycles, which it has throughout its life and throughout our life. But there's a way to stay aware and prepared. We can be ready for these great changes. Keep liking, keep sharing the channel. Subscribe, hit your notification bells. Make sure you don't miss an update. Watch out, Cascades, still hot spot. Things are quieting down in Alaska. Pacific Ring of Fire is set to blow, it seems. So please stay aware and prepared. Now let's have a look at the sulfur dioxide emissions brought to you by the active and erupting 75 volcanoes around the world. No new major plumes here overlooking the Pacific. Just the notable and average players. Mexico, Kamchatka, Hawaii. Hawaii's volcano has since stopped its volcanic activity as the caldera of the summit of Kilauea has cooled again. Overlooking Africa, South America, and as well the Mediterranean overlooking Europe. Large eruption at Mount Etna showing a large SO2 plume right now over the Mediterranean. Now let's have a look at world weather brought to you by windy.com. Still a pretty strong weather event expect, expected for the eastern United States, but cooler temperatures from the north are going to keep things calm for now as we've got some major low-pressure systems coming from the north and snow expected in the long-range forecast here. So not quite ready yet for the extreme weather event that everybody was getting hyped up about for the last 36 to 72 hours, but... Still going to watch the Gulf states over the next few days. That will be the most active regions. Other than that, thank you, Canada, for all the cold temperatures to keep things calm for now. As soon as those low pressure systems start coming from the Pacific and not from the north, we'll see some big changes. Overlooking Africa and New Zealand. Things are going to start quieting down for Australia. Big high pressure ridge building in for the long range. Other than that, no major typhoons or cyclones forecast here. Now let's have a look at Northern Pacific. Huge low pressure system over north of Hawaii. Central Pacific set to break up and head north into Alaska for the long range to form a very large low pressure system, which will be a rainy, windy event for most of northern British Columbia and Alaska. Higher elevations still will see a lot of snow in this forecast, including Pacific Northwest regions of the United States. 
and most of Canada. Now let's have a look at our upper level winds depicting our polar vortex for today, March 29th, 2025, South Pole. And this is our North Pole. As things are definitely looking different, even after a few days ago when I showed these upper level winds. And I gave you a, a comparison to last year at this time for winds. And literally, the winds are going in the opposite direction. Something has flipped, and that's what I'm trying to tell everybody here. And more and more people need to know about this. This is what they don't want you to know. This is why they keep you programmed in front of your cable televisions and local networks. Have a look at the upper level winds last year at this time, March 29th, 2024. Look at the direction of the winds everywhere. Big difference between last year and this year. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show today. If you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Maybe get in the comment section. Tell me what part you love the most. Timestamp it. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. Thank you.